Okay, so had to bring the little guy in to the shop. Uh, I went to start it. It hasn't been started since the end of December, the last snow we had, measurable snow. And uh, it wouldn't start, so uh, I messed around with it and took the gas line off and because it didn't seem like it was getting you know like took the plug out and it wasn't wet and so I thought okay so I took the um, gas line off and checked it and it was pumping gas way better than I thought um, uh, so that wasn't it and cleaned the points and gapped them and checked the timing and that all seemed fine and nothing seemed to be working I checked the spark there was spark getting to the spark plug I just couldn't figure out what was going on um, it turns out the uh, ceramic on the spark plug cracked, so I put a new plug on it, and she fired right up. I wound up having to tow this out of the car, the tractor, little tractor port I built. I had to tow it out with the car because it was just too heavy to push. It was in, you can see, uh, it was a little bit of mud at the be in the beginning of the where it sits. So, of course, as a result, it was stuck in the mud. It took a little bit extra to get it out. But she fires and runs now, and I noticed this is a Commander 10. Everything I read, which isn't much, says that it should have a 10 horsepower motor, but somebody upgraded it. And according to the numbers, this Kohler 12 is the uh, same year as uh, the Kohler 10 that would have been in it. So, But th this is going to go back in the tractor port till I need it again. As you can see, it's just a little bit muddy. <laughs> but that's all right. The seat's holding up, all that Gorilla duct tape, uh, Gorilla brand duct tape, uh, it's holding up, even in the cold and the, the wet and everything, it's, it's not coming apart, so. And then I got a new starter, came in this, sealed in this plastic with some desiccant in it, and they went, uh, for $20, they sure went crazy with the, uh, how they packaged it. The general consensus is it's too close to the fly flywheel. And it kind of makes sense, because if you look at this one, the one that came off of it, that's what it does look like. And I couldn't find that gear real easy, so I just thought, you know, for $20, let's get a whole new starter, and that way i got a backup. So next week I'll pull the tractor out and um, uh, put it on there and just see. If it's as close as I think it is, then I'll put a shim behind here. Since there's no real adjustment that can be made, uh, try to pull it away from the flywheel a little bit more. If that's not what it is, then I don't know. Because I can pull start this thing with just this little bit of rope. It doesn't take much to get that motor to turn. Once it turns, she'll fire right up. And it doesn't take a lot of effort to pull it, to spin it either. So I don't. All I can figure is that. That's what's happening. This is just sitting too close to the motor. So, and uh, poor bike. I, I haven't started it since last November. Uh, I was going to take the tank off and paint it. Now I don't know if I'm going to have time or the ability. So I might just have to, you know, go through the year with this tank and uh, the way it is. And uh, and to fix the brakes, I'll do that next weekend. I'll take that off. Go over to Godfrey's and see if we can fix it. I think it's just a seal um, around the piston. Uh, probably not sealing very well. Um, I don't know if this is the one that came, I think this is the one that came off it. And I think that would have probably damaged the seal because I could feel it with my nail. So we probably should have replaced the seal when we replaced the puck, but oh well. Live and learn. Um, Short of that, uh, next thing is to pull the HHR in, and maybe you guys can, you car guys can tell me why this happens. See the rust? Every car I've ever owned. I, I keep these cars pretty clean most of the time. Uh, it's dirty today because I did a lot of driving yesterday. Now part of the problem is the seals probably because the seals broke. But this happens and it's on every door um it rusts right along there it doesn't matter what car I've owned Ford Toyota I had a Jetta for a while uh, I had a Cadillac for a while um, a Ford van I had for a while 
they all do this. So this isn't a Chevy thing. This is a me being stupid thing, and I'm not sure exactly what it is I'm doing wrong. The back doors aren't bad. In fact, I'll probably just leave this one. That one's starting, so I might just touch that up a little bit, scuff it and then touch it up. And this one isn't too bad, but it's somewhere between the front door and this door, or um, the back door, so, you know, it just seems to happen, and I, I, I don't know what to make of it. But yeah, it's, it's seen cleaner days, but I was out in it yesterday driving around and the roads were wet uh, where I was at, so uh, I had to go buy a landfill too, that, that, that didn't help. Um, so I'll probably wash it later today. But first order of business is to get this thing out of here. And um, if any of you are interested, um, the company I'm working for right now celebrated their fifth year anniversary. And uh, so every department did something. Our department did a cake for the entire company and, you know, whatever. Um, well, one of the billing and enrollment department, uh, what they did was they put together a cool little video. So I'll put a link below. Um, I encourage you to watch it. It's it's done very well. And keep in mind, this isn't what these people do for a living. They you know, they do enrollment and billing for a living, so I thought they did darn well. Um, anyway, I'd like to get their numbers up just to kind of show them how well they did. So if you wouldn't mind clicking on it, even if you just let it play to the end with the volume muted, that would be awesome. Um, maybe uh, like the video when you're done. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I just thought it was kind of cool. Okay, that's it for this week. So, later. finished it. Rust is gone. Basically I sanded it down <clears throat> and put in um, a rust converter because uh, a transformer because um, there's like a lip there and I couldn't be sure I got it all so uh, but it'll do. And uh, took several hours but it's good and dry so matches the rest of the door you don't even notice. Not that that matters. I just wanted to keep the rust at bay. So, I'll do it. It's been a long day. <laughs> Later.